The left hand derivative at the point x is equal to a is given by the limit h tending to 0 from the negative side f of a plus h minus f of a divided by h and this is given to be equal to 0. Now we are required to find the left hand derivative at x is equal to minus a. This is given by the limit h tending to 0 from the negative side f of minus a plus h minus f of minus a divided by h. Now we are given that fx is an odd function therefore f of minus a plus h is equal to minus of f of a minus h. Putting h is equal to 0 this implies that f of minus a is equal to minus of f of a. Therefore the left hand derivative at x is equal to minus a is equal to the limit h tending to 0 from the negative side minus of f of a minus h plus f of a divided by h. Now we are also given that f of x is equal to f of 2a minus x. Replacing x with a minus h this means that f of a minus h is equal to f of 2a minus a minus h which is equal to f of a plus h. Using this result, the left hand derivative at x is equal to minus a is equal to limit h tending to 0 from the negative side minus of f of a plus h plus f of a divided by h. This can be written as minus of limit of h tending to 0 from the negative side f of a plus h minus f a divided by h. And notice that this is equal to minus of the left hand derivative at x is equal to a which is equal to 0. It therefore follows that the left hand derivative at x is equal to minus a is equal to 0 which is the required answer.